Hello everyone, this is Ami Patel. This video is about rectifier and specifically I will explain half wave rectifier. So let us begin with what is rectifier. So rectifier is the electronic circuit which converts the alternating signal into the unidirectional signal. That means it is converting AC to DC. Now you can see uh, on screen that input to the rectifier is the alternating signal and output of the rectifier is the pulsating DC. It is, it's not providing the constant value of the DC, it's a pulsating DC. Now what is rectification? Rectification is the process which converts the alternating signal into the direct signal. Now we will see the classification of rectifier. In classification, uh, we have basically two types. One is the half wave rectifier and the second one is the full wave rectifier. In half wave rectifier, uh, for half of the input cycle, we are getting the output and for the other half of the input cycle, the output is zero. And in the full wave rectifier, for the full input cycle, we are getting the output. That's why it is referred as the full wave rectifier. In full wave rectifier, we have two types. One is the full wave rectifier with the sensitive transformer and the second one is the bridge rectifier. So this video is basically about the half wave rectifier. Uh, I'll explain the circuit diagram of the half wave rectifier. We'll see the working of half wave rectifier for positive and the negative half cycle. And at last we will do the analysis of the half wave rectifier for DC and RMS voltages and currents. So let us begin with the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier. As you can see on screen, the half wave rectifier is made up of a transformer, diode and a resistor. So input to the rectifier is the alternating signal and that is from the AC mains that is 230 volt 50 hertz AC signal and that is given to the primary of the transformer and this transformer is the step down transformer it will uh, reduce the strength of the alternating signal. So at the second read, we will be getting the lower strength AC signal and that is given to the diode and the resistor. Now across the resistor, that is the load, we are getting the output voltage and that is the rectified output voltage. Let us do the analysis of half wave rectifier or we will see the working of half wave rectifier for the positive half cycle. In the positive half cycle, as you can see a uh, figure at the second read, the input signal polarity is such that anode terminal of the diode is connected to the positive and the cathode terminal of diode is connected to the negative. That means we can say this diode is in forward bias. So we can replace the diode with the closed switch that you can see in the figure. Now, what will be the output voltage for this positive half cycle? So, as the switch is closed, uh, whatever voltage which is appearing at the secondary of the transformer will be directly uh, appearing across the load. That's why the signal which is at the secondary of the transformer will be directly seen at the load or across the load. So, output signal you will find is as shown in the figure on screen. And this is for the positive half cycle of the input signal. Now we will see the working of half wave rectifier for the negative half cycle. During the negative half cycle, on the secondary of the transformer, the polarity of the input signal is such that the diode and not terminal is connected to minus and the diode cathode terminal is connected to the plus or positive of the supply. That means this diode is in the reverse bias. As the diode is in the reverse bias, it acts as an open switch. So the switch is open. So the equivalent circuit uh, with diode as the switch open is shown on the screen. The output voltage which is appearing across uh, the secondary of the transformer will not be connected to the load. That means that path is broken because diode is acting as an open switch. That's why this path is broken. So across load, the output voltage will be zero. So the 
during positive half cycle we are getting the output which is similar to the input and during negative half cycle we are getting output that is the zero volt now we will see the waveforms for the half wave rectifier so first signal is the input signal of the secondary input signal which we are getting at the secondary this is the sinusoidal that is the ac signal and the second waveform is the output voltage waveform so we had seen in the previous slides that during positive half cycle we are getting the output which is similar to the input and during negative half cycle we are getting zero output so that is shown in the figure on screen and the next waveform is about the current which is flowing through the load and the current is also following same as the voltage because during positive half cycle the current is flowing and during negative half cycle the current is zero and the last waveform is the voltage across the diode so when the diode is in the forward bias it's a closed switch when the diode is acting as a closed switch that means these two terminals are connected and the voltage when both the terminals are shorted is zero so when diode is on the voltage across diode will be zero and when diode is off that is which is open the voltage across diode will be the secondary voltage so during positive half cycle we are getting zero diode voltage and during negative half cycle we are getting the diode voltage which is equivalent to or equal to the secondary voltage so this uh, this is the waveforms for the half wave rectifier now we will see the analysis of half wave rectifier and for analyzing the uh, half wave rectifier we will find the dc voltage rms voltage uh, of the half wave rectifier and dc current and rms current for the half wave rectifier so let us analyze first uh, let us revise again the waveforms you can see the input signal that is sinusoidal signal is shown output signal output voltage signal and output current signal is shown output voltage signal is given by vi is equal to vm sin omega t and that is for the half cycle that is from 0 to pi and the output current signal is i is equal to im sin omega t and that is for the half cycle from 0 to pi and from pi to 2 pi that is the other half cycle the voltage and current both are zero so this is the equation for the uh, output voltage as it is a sinusoidal we are having the equation of the sinusoidal signal here vm is the maximum value of the output voltage and im is the maximum value of the output current and output current maximum value and output voltage maximum value is being related with this equation that is im is equal to vm divided by rf plus rl rf is the forward resistance of the uh, pn junction diode and rl is the loop now let us do the analysis of half wave rectifier so first we will find out the dc or the average current that is the idc so we had already seen the output signal uh, that we are getting from 0 to pi im sin omega t signal and from pi to 2 pi we are having the zero signal so the idc that is the average value is given by 1 divided by 2 pi integration from 0 to 2 pi i d omega t let us divide this signal from 0 to 2 pi into two part that is from 0 to pi which is sinusoidal signal and from pi to 2 pi that is the zero signal so the equation is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi integration 0 to pi i m sin omega t d omega t plus integration from pi to 2 pi 0 d omega t now the second part is the zero function and for the first part let us take the integration of sin omega t so it is a 
minus of cos omega t and i m is the constant value so we will take this i m outside. So the equation is 1 divided by 2 pi i m minus of cos omega t and the limits are from 0 to pi. Value of the DC current is equal to I m by pi. Now we will see the DC voltage or the average voltage. So we know that the from the Ohm's law V is equal to I R. So V D C is equal to I D C into R L. Putting the value of I D C that is I m by pi into R L. Now what is the I m? I m is given by V m divided by the resistance which we had seen previously in the waveform equation that Vm divided by Rf plus Rl where Rf is equal to the forward resistance of Tn junction diode and Rl is the load and uh, we have equation Vn into Rl divided by pi into Rf plus Rl but we know that that forward resistance of a diode is very small because diode is actually acting as a closed switch. So RF is very small compared to the RL or rather RF, RL is very much greater than RF that's why we can neglect the RF in comparison with the RL that's why uh, the equivalent value of the VDC will be Vm divided by pi. Now we will see the RMS or AC current so the equation for the root mean square uh, current value is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi integration from 0 to 2 pi i square d omega t and the square root of the whole equation. So we can see this is the root the outside is the power 1 by 2 that is a square root 1 divided by 2 pi and integration provides the average value and i square is the square value. So it is the root mean square value. Now let us put the value of i and the i is i m square sin square d omega t into d omega t but this is from 0 to pi and from pi to 2 pi we are having the zero output or zero current. So second part of this equation is zero and uh, only the first part we need to integrate. So for the integration uh, we will put the equation for the sin square omega t that is 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 and then integrating this equation we are getting i m square divided by 4 pi and the integration for the 1 is omega t minus integration for minus of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t divided by 2 and the limits are from 0 to pi and square root of whole. If we put the value of the limits that is pi and 0 and we solve the equation we are getting the RMS current that is IRMS is equal to IM by 2. Now we will see the RMS or AC voltage that is VRMS. VRMS is equal to IRMS into RM. Value of the RMS current we had already calculated in the previous slide. So IRMS is equal to IM by 2 and IM is the Vm divided by Rf plus Rn and we had seen that the Rf is the forward resistance of Tn junction diode. Its value is very much small as compared to the Rn or Rl is very much greater than as compared to the Rf. That's why we will neglect the forward resistance and the equivalent value or the value of the RMS voltage will be Vm by 2. So we have calculated the average that is the DC voltage and current values and RMS that is the AC voltage and current values. These are the very important parameters for the half wave rectifier and this will help us to find out the efficiency, ripple factor, transformer utilization factor and many more other parameters which are related to the half wave rectifier that we will see in the next video. With this I am ending this session over here. Thank you.